Hey everyone, it's me, Doomlink, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It is currently part 24 for my Let's Play, and it is the 27th of September 2018 as I am recording this. Now, where we last left off, as you may or may not remember, we were pretty much heading towards this area, which is our next location. It's a little village that is, I think, at the top of a hill sort of area. It looks out over a bit of a landscape to my memory. But before I go there, I wanted to sort of explore the surrounding area first. I'm not going to go up to Mount Lanayru just yet because I think there's something specific for us to do up there regarding a dragon, that's my memory of it. So we'll probably leave that until after we've done whatever we want to do in here. I do vaguely remember this as well as a sort of... No, I don't really want to call it a shrine. It's sort of one of those areas where you fight those guardians sort of creatures, and once again, I, I'm not good with the names, I think the Guardian is referring to the tentacle thing, rather than what we fight here on this island, but you probably know what I'm referring to anyway, unless you've never played this game before, I really don't know. But uh, regardless, we're going to go ahead and check out this area over here, where I was wanting to go in the previous video, but realised, well, it would probably be best if I just went ahead and saved that for the next video, and here we are in said next video. Now, I just need to remember what I'm doing with my control. Oh, I was about to say, hmm, yeah, well, uh, I was wondering, well, I didn't know why I couldn't pull out my weapon, and then I realised, what the fuck are you doing? J jesus What's going on? This is truly awful. I don't want to die here. This is, seems like dangerous territory. <laughs> anyway, my god. But, uh, yeah, so I didn't have a weapon equipped there, which was uh, something that I found out very quickly. But either way, that case eyeball looked like an apple. I genuinely thought it was an apple on the ground. Anyway, um, that's kind of gross. We'll pick up these arrows. I do need some arrows, though, I think. So that works out rather well. Either way, I'm just going to try and pick up these case parts that have been scattered around by that bomb exploding. But yeah, I'm just going to adjust my microphone position here. Uh, before I started recording this video, I did end up downloading a bunch of DLC stuff that I hadn't yet downloaded. I think the last time I downloaded DLC was when, like, I first got the game the day it came out, so whatever the launch DLC was, I think it was the Nintendo Switch shirt and maybe a few other little things here and there. But, uh, yeah, that was the last stuff that I had downloaded, so... Come on, pull up your shield. I was about to say pull up your shield? Yeah, about that. <laughs> God's sake. Alright, so I've broken his guard. At the expense of the durability of my weapon, no doubt. Did that weapon literally disappear into the earth? I think it did. That's really annoying if it did. Oh no, it somehow slid over this way. Traveler's Sword, what sort of damage does that do? Does five. Uh, just to reiterate what I said in the previous video, I have these rather weaker weapons so that I can use them to destroy ore deposits. Much easier than exploding the ore deposits. Once again, as I've mentioned before, I don't really want to repeat myself too many times. Because I think you guys are watching these videos uh, one after the other, at least I would imagine. So I don't really want to be too uh, repetitive. Either way. I'm assuming there's a chest up here, although I didn't see it. Oh, there it is there. The, yeah. Is he still alive? He probably is. I'm going to drop and like, break my fall by gliding there. Phrenic bow. Okay. Does a decent amount of damage, and I think we're running out of bows as well, so it works out. How many do we have? Well, we're not really running out, but we did, I think, break all of our soldier's bows. Or did we? Yeah, we did. So I had two soldier's bows, I remember, originally, but we have since broken both of them, so I suppose it's good to get some more bows on the go. Either way, we'll go up and see what is inside this chest. Not sure if it's even going to be worth it. Most of the time it's not. <laughs> like, you don't get amazing things in chests in this game, usually just materials and things of the like. Just, you know, individual materials and stuff like that. We'll see what's in this one. I could be wrong. <laughs> no, it's a single opal. Fair enough. Either way, I think that's more or less it for this area. Unless there's something over that way, I'd better check, just in case. Because you never know. Got some, uh, blends there. <laughs> I mean, he's sleeping. He's like, yeah, no problem. That guy's probably dead after the bomb. Oh, there is a chest here. Well, good thing I came over this way. I'll go and open that now. What have we got? Ten arrows. You know what? I would actually prefer to have ten arrows than a single opal, to be honest with you. 
you guys might be going, yeah, right, Doom Link, you're just an idiot. But uh, to be honest, I think at this point I'm going to have a lot more use for 10 arrows. Well, I'm going to get a lot more benefit out of having 10 arrows than one single opal, so... Yeah, I don't think you can argue with me on that point. Either way, you can see that there is a lot in that direction. You can, in fact, see the village that I was referring to before. That is our location. But, uh... There are some more things in the surrounding areas. Well, possibly more things in the surrounding areas. What I should say is that there is a lot of open space surrounding it, so we're going to go and check out to see if there is anything of interest over there. I'm not interested in the skeletal bokoblins, whether they're called Stalfos or not, I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, I'm going to ignore him, because I really don't care for him. Got some glowing things over here. May as well check them out. Seriously, what are those things? Are they deposits? Yeah, I think I can break them and get stuff. That's really exciting, because there are a number of them right there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't know why I'm doing that. Well, I do know why I'm doing that. It's because he's super dangerous. Come on, hit him in the face. No, I was hoping that he would actually get flinched out of that. All right, so thankfully, because it is... Well, thankfully the game allows me to pause combat to heal, you know, because otherwise it would be a real nightmare. So what we're going to do... Holding up our shields. Please die. Alright, managed to shield him. I think it said that our sword was at risk, something like that. Yes. And once again, the final hit of your weapon will generally be a much stronger one as it breaks. I don't know why. I'm not sure what the logic behind that is. You are so annoying, mate. I mean, my ability to conduct combat in this game is really poor, so that's probably half the issue here. Yeah, I mean, I tried to put up my shield, but it it just didn't work out. So, um, I don't know what we're gonna... what we're gonna do here. Yes, I'm going to continue, but I don't know what my last save was. We're, we're gonna find out either way. I just need to get to those, uh... I guess cyan-coloured ore deposits. I'm very interested in them. Oh god, where am I? Oh, here? <laughs> Kind of sucks, but we'll just have to deal with it, I suppose. I will survive some way or another. So I'm pretty sure... Oh, once again, uh, we do have the little RIP symbol there, which is a cross. So I was about to say, I think it was in this direction, and I don't really need to, I guess, theorise. I can pretty much see exactly where I last died, which is a good feature. I think that is good, because if you end up going really far from your last save, it can be a little bit confusing, but uh, anyway... I'd rather fight these guys one at a time. Where is the other one? I can see one of them there, but... There is a second one, and he's down here. No, that's... No, really not, actually. A Bokoblin, Doomlink, but anyway. Restless Cricket and Hylian Rice. Well, there you go. It's first I realised that you can actually harvest rice from just cutting grass. That's, you know, fair enough. We've got rice just growing, apparently, but, uh, <laughs> well, natural rice, why not? It's just I'm not seeing any, but I guess it just appears out of nowhere in this world. Fair enough. I guess the rice growers must be really upset, because people can just go around and cut grass randomly and get rice. There's no need to grow it specifically. Anyway, there's no need for me to continue on that point. I do have a tendency to make fun of Zelda games, but, uh, you know, you don't get caught up on the logic. You just enjoy the game for what it is. It's not always too... Uh, luminous stones. Okay, so these are probably going to all drop only luminous stones. So, yeah. It's breaking my weak weapons on these things. Once again, I have no idea, like, what things like opals, amber, luminous stones are even used for. I haven't got a clue. Because I haven't really gotten to the point in the game in the past where I've really been able to make use of such items. I just... What about this? This is different. This is a regular ore deposit. Oh no, luminous stone as well. Oh, it depends on the time of day. So it seems that during the night it will glow blue, even if it's in a shady area like here, where there's less light entering into the stone, but during the daytime it will be sort of grey looking, which explains why luminous stones as an item, their icon looks rather dull compared to what we were breaking just then. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. No. 
I'm gonna jump up there. Don't know if there's anything here, and I still don't know where that second Vokoblin is. He just disappeared somewhere. Oh well. Doesn't bother me too much. There's no real experience system in this game, so killing enemies isn't that useful. It can be useful. You can get their weapons. For instance, uh, those moblins are pretty cool. Piling and rice again. I don't... I'm pretty sure I'm getting it from the grass, not from the chew... chew jelly things. The chew chews. I really am not good at saying chew chew. It just doesn't come to mind. I end up saying, you know, chew jelly, which is the item that drops from them rather than the enemy itself. Anyway. Go and take you on. I don't know why this guy has a stick. <laughs> at that point, there really is not much benefit to killing these guys. My Traveler's Sword is badly damaged, which is understandable because it's a rather weak weapon. I'll use my Boko Bat here. There we go. This is a heavier attacking weapon, so this will send the enemy flying. Which is always a good way to deal with these guys. So you don't even need to build up the... Well, there's no damage build up for throwing an enemy. It's the particular attack that you do. So if this one is the only one that hits the enemy, it will still send them flying. Even if it's the first hit that makes contact with them. So... You know, I guess stagger build-up is the phrase that I'm looking for. There is no such thing. It's just purely based on the individual attack. I guess we could cook something here if we really wanted to, but I don't. There is like a full cooking system in the game where you can concoct your own dishes in those pots, like you can put ingredients in them. But I just... Or pots, I should say, rather than... Well, I said concoct your own dishes if you put it in the pot. That's what I meant to say anyway, I can't remember what I said. Sometimes I'll just... I talk very much on autopilot, you see, and then sometimes I kick my brain in and I go, what did I actually just say? Was that how I wanted to phrase that? I'm a bit of a... I talk a lot, so... <laughs> sometimes I just don't even think about what I'm saying. But anyway. I wasn't expecting there to be such a mountainous region right here, but I guess now I'm finding that out. We can see the distant islands over here. I mean... Would I be correct in saying that that... Or well, maybe it's... No. I think that that shrine that we're seeing in the middle of the water is... Ah, it must be this one here, the smaller island. Is that right? But that doesn't look right. Where is that shrine? Maybe it doesn't even appear here. That really big landmass there is probably the island here, which is Tenoko Island. Or Tonoko Island, however I'm supposed to pronounce that. But then it looks like the shrine is positioned here somewhere, but you can't even see it. Which would make me think it's this here, but you can see that that's not correct, because I'm looking from this direction, and yet it's positioned here, so, I mean, I don't know. I don't know why the shrine doesn't appear, maybe it's just... I guess it will appear as something on the map once I discover it. But, regardless, you probably won't be going there just yet. How we actually need to access that, you're probably thinking, well, how would you... Ah, no, you probably don't need to get one of those um, rafts that are moved with the Deku leaves. I don't even know if that's what they're called in this game. It's not really a Deku leaf. Can you stop being upset? I mean, you are very upset. I kind of want to kill you because you're aggressive. I don't want to kill the other animals because they're not so aggressive, but you are definitely in need of some death. I mean, who knows what I'll get from you. Probably some steaks... I would be down for that. Where are you? I mean, come on. Stop running. And then you just disappear. <laughs> you phase out of existence before my eyes. Fair enough. It is a Zelda game after all. Realism has never been the strong point of the Zelda series. As I was just talking about before. I do often make fun of the Zelda series, but... You can't uh, treat the, the series too seriously. It's supposed to be just a fun, entertaining thing. But, um... I mean, should I deal with all of this before going to that area over there? I mean, I've already ended up this far in this direction, so I may as well just follow through. Just do everything I can. There's another bull that I can kill. I mean, sneaking up on him might be a thing. I don't know if you get a... If it's like an Elder Scroll sort of thing. It, you probably... Yeah, that probably makes sense. What I was going to say was, I wonder if it's like an Elder Scrolls thing where you get a damage boost on an arrow shot if it hits the enemy without them discovering you. Most likely. But it is possible that the thing has such low health that it just died from one shot anyway. And I think I did hit the face, so that is considered a critical zone. And it makes that little ding sound, so... Yeah. It, it sounds exactly like me going ding, by the way. 
It's, it's exactly what it sounds like. But, uh, yeah, that shrine, we'll be able to glide down from it, from that cliff face, I would imagine. Very easily we'd be able to manage that. Uh, the raft that we can actually get that will require the leaf to sort of blow wind into its sail is something that'll be around that area, I'm pretty sure. But we don't actually need it to get to the shrine that I was looking at there. Oh, God. What's your, what are you called again? I don't even care. It's, it's Hino... Is it Hino something? Hinox? Hinox, maybe. I don't know. Not to be confused with General Onox, but anyway. Most people don't even know who General Onox is. But anyway. For those of you who do, good work. Because uh, that is one of the Zelda games that many people don't actually bother with. I'm actually a little bit concerned by my lack of weapons here. I don't know how long these are going to last me. I mean, this eightfold long blade, given that it's a long blade, might have more durability to it. But then, as well, look how thin it is. It's a pretty thin looking weapon. It doesn't look that durable, so who knows. Sorry, just had to sneeze. Getting to around 17 minutes in. Not sure if... To, hold on. Is that even in... No, I think it is in this province. We're sort of getting out of the province now as we continue up here, but... See, it's over there, and that's still in the province. I remember this. Stop that. I didn't actually want him to climb there. At least at that second time. Oh, no. It's another one of these areas. Okay, so what we'll do is we won't actually take on that shrine on the top of the top of the mountain there in this video. We'll do it in the next one, but we will... Come on, die. Are you dead? No, you're not. That only confirms my suspicions that you do get a damage boost on the uh, surprise attack. God damn it. Anyway, so I'll deal with this... I mean, hideout would probably be the word. Moblin hideout. And then I might discover the shrine... And then I'll end the video. I think that's how we're going to work it. So, do we want to open with a bomb arrow? I mean, I'm using a Boko bow. Maybe we'll not. <laughs> Maybe we'll not. We'll use the Phrenic bow here. And, uh... It might not be worth it. I just wonder if... No, if they fully discover me, they're going to blow a horn. I was thinking maybe we could take out each of those moblins on the lookouts. But... Once they see me, they will blow a horn, and I'm not really confident in my ability to one-shot them from a distance, so... I mean, we can try. How about we try? We need to be a little bit more adventurous, I think. I will just give it a shot. What? How am I... How am I aiming in like this? What? Is this the particular bow that I'm using that's doing this? No, it's not. Then how... How did I start doing that? No, don't you discover me, mate. Don't throw the weapon! Fuck! Pick it up and then don't let that guy see you. Jesus, this is such a nightmare. Okay, so I need to work out how I managed to do that. Because I think I pressed... LZ... First. But... I want to cancel out of that. I'll press LZ again. See, why is it zooming in so much now? What have I done? What have I done that's different? Okay, don't do that. What have I actually done that's different? Maybe it depends on the bow. So maybe this bow also has that ability, does it? No, it doesn't. So what the fuck have I been doing? Is it because I'm... I, ugh. Guys, I'm so confused. Okay, so... But this one will zoom in more. Look. So that one zooms in more, and then if I change bows... Hold on. I don't fucking understand, but whatever. Let's just... Let's just not question it. So, uh, the arrow drop might be around that? No. Okay, you... <laughs> Jesus, I've alerted everyone. So I way overestimated the arrow drop there. Okay. Just hit you, but... You fucking asshole. 
Okay, so what we're going to... Let's just save here, because if I die, that's going to be really shit. So, <laughs> we'll save here. And now, um... Hold on. I need to change to bomb arrows, because I need to kill those guys. This is very important. No, 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 no. Because I'm zooming in way too much there. Jesus, look at this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run until they leash. Can you stop? Because they will leash at one point. And that point is around now. So they're all going to return to their original positions. What I would like to do is launch a bomb arrow in there. And then just kill them all. Because they are all blue moblins. They are going to almost one-shot me. Each of them individually will almost one-shot me. Well, what that means is that I need to play smart. I mean, I could sort of muscle my way through it, but I don't want to. Thank you. Damn it, he fucking moved. No. <laughs> it's intimidating when you see all of those question marks. I need to work on the arrow drop. Die. See, he didn't even fully blow the horn. Fuck's sake. Those damn horns. I didn't mean to uh, deplete all of my stamina there. It's probably not entirely necessary for me to play so safe. But... I'd, I would prefer not to take the risk at this point. If you understand. Play smart, and you won't regret it. Even if you end up wasting more time than you might have initially intended. What I'd really like to do is one-shot the bastard. But it's not that easy. I can almost one-shot him. Oh! Yeah, whatever. So I'll kill him now. Then maybe I can... Hold on. Bomb arrow. Did that... How many did that hit? One? It hit one of them. God, I just wasted a bomb arrow for no reason. And that didn't... See, even that critical hit didn't do much damage to that blue moblin. <laughs> Why is he on fire? Because I guess he was on fire, and then he lit the grass on fire, and then that just created an even larger fire, and he just died. That's very entertaining. I like that. Can I put out the fire like this? Come on. Stop it. Spiked Boko Club. That will be useful because, honestly, I am sort of running out of weapons that I can use. So, when they're all in there together, that's what I wanted as far as firing a bomb arrow in there. Because you can see they've got explosives in there, in there as well, so we're going to give that a shot. What? There we... That's what I wanted. And you see... God, there are so many crows outside that are all collectively making noise. Like, a lot of noise. But you can see, even with those massive explosions going on, and I ended up using a lot more bomb arrows than I first intended. I've only got two now, so that's not really what I wanted, but, um, anyway. I'm gonna try- Oh no! Fuck! See, now- Okay, now you guys understand. <laughs> now you understand why I was trying to play it safe. We'll continue. But yeah, there are- There's a- big number of crows outside all making noise at the same time so hopefully that doesn't bleed into the microphone too much so I've got another chance here I'm not gonna waste my bomb arrows needlessly I'm gonna try and end with four rather than two so we'll give that a shot fuck's sake did that alert them? Wow, and then it didn't even alert this guy. That is a surprise. Die. Thank you. See, now, if I could have done that the first time, that would have been lovely. But anyway. So we're going to uh, hopefully hit those bombs. I'd like to hit the center bomb. I feel like that's going to be better. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Nope, stop it. <laughs> I'm drawing another... How do I say? Bomb arrow. Not what I wanted at all. Okay, so at this point, let's be smart. 
Actually, let's not even. Let's not even be smart. Let's just run. Which I suppose is smart in and of itself, but... The main thing when I say be smart is get away, save, then go into combat. Alright, so... We'll maybe attack this guy. Hold on. If I can get him to come back. I'm not going to waste any more arrows. I'm going to take him on like this. See, he's not even dead. I should be able to get some good weapons here, I would suggest. Should be good. So what have we got here? Knight's Broadsword. <laughs> what did I tell you? Very good. Just what I wanted. So we'll save again. See, it was a good judgement on my part. I definitely was not going to be doing the shrine in this video. <laughs> it, this definitely took longer than I was expecting, to be honest. I should have shot an arrow at one of them, but whatever. I want to fight both at the same time. Fuck! God, they're aggressive. These guys aren't even blue moblins. They are the next level above blue. So, yeah. Jesus. Anyway, have some stamella shrooms. And have another one there. We've, we have a quarter of a heart left. Which is kind of sad, but anyway. Whew, good timing. You can see that my weapons here are really not doing much. The final hit on this vicious sickle will do some damage, but... I, it didn't kill him. Okay, so we're going to move on to the guardian sword that I have. Kill him. Yep. Send him flying. Alrighty. So let's see what weapons we've got. Another Knight's Broadsword. Excellent. Hopefully that's going to be good. I don't know if it will be, but we'll see. Another Knight's Broadsword. Very good. Then we'll pick up this stuff. And there should be more stuff inside to pick up as well. I don't believe these items that drop from enemies actually despawn. Unless you entirely leave the area, so... Anyway. Maybe some of it actually got blown up along with the bombs. That is possible. I think that does happen. You can see we're getting the shrine indicator now. Go pick up this. See what we got. Soldier's spear. <laughs> a bit sad. I mean, maybe it's random. Maybe it's a randomized chest and you'll get a random weapon in that chest. Therefore making it actually really good, but I ended up getting a shit weapon. That's just a theory. I have no idea how it works, but anyway. <laughs> no, I can't even take it. I was about to say, we may as well take it, but I can't, so I won't even bother. Anyway, uh, we'll double check our weapons here, because we've got a good number of them. Check this out. I was only just saying before how unimpressed I was with my weapons, but now I've got three at 26 damage, one at 20, one at 32. That's very good. I'll stick with this spear for now. Even though the spear is doing around 7 damage, you can see how fast the spear attacks. Which makes the spear actually pretty good, even though it's only at 7. Just because it attacks so fast once again. Anyway, we'll go and discover this shrine and then we will end the video. It's ended up being around a 30 minute video this time around. I hope you aren't too upset about that. Once again, I do try to keep the videos between 20 and 25 minutes. Sometimes it will go a little bit over. I'd like to think that my my hard cap is around 35. I really don't want to go further than 35. If I have to get get up to that point, then fair enough, but I, I pretty much will not accept anything above 35. Or at the very least, if it has to be over 35, I will not be happy at all. And I might even end up splitting the video. Which is something that I don't like to do anymore. I like to have an introduction for every single video, as I originally used to do Let's Plays, because the thing is, Let's Play videos back in the day were only around 10 minutes long, so... It was very common that you would just introduce them all. You'd have an intro and an outro for every video that you'd record, so... Anyway... I guess... That will be it for this video. I'm not actually going to go in the shrine. I might have a look around, see what we've got here. We've got a good view. There's an island over that way. And you can see that it's not actually included in this uh, province, because we don't have a tower discovered here. But I don't even know if there is a tower to discover that will reveal this to us. 
I truly have no idea. So if we go over there, I don't know what we're going to see. If we can even get over there in the first place, I have no idea. So we may or may not attempt to discover that. We probably won't. I'll probably stick to this shrine over here once we've completed this one. And then at that point, like, we're not going to be stranded on that shrine island thing. Even if we didn't have the warp system, but uh, we should have, like, a little raft that we can... Actually, then again, I don't even have one of those leaves to blow it, but maybe we've got... Maybe one will be included, I'm not sure. Either way, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This has been part 24 for the Let's Play once again, and I will see you guys in part 25. See you then.